Good afternoon, everyone. Here we are back again at Kim's RV Kitchen. How are you doing today? Well, today we are going to learn about convection cooking and a meatloaf that I make. making a meatloaf. This is just a simple meatloaf that I make and hopefully you'll like it. I take one pound of lean ground beef and to that I add a eight ounces of diced tomato with the juice to my pot. I know it sounds gross. Then I have a fourth a cup of oatmeal, a teaspoon and a fourth of salt and a fourth a teaspoon of pepper that I'm going to add to this. And this is a half a onion, a half a cup of onion, I'm sorry, and a half a cup of bell pepper. I don't like to have any kind of crunch you can if you, if you would like, so I make it really, I chop it up real, real, real fine. And then put it in here so it won't have any crunch to it. Some people prefer it with the crunch. And if you could even put it on the stove for a few minutes and saute it down if you would like. And then I have one egg beaten, one large egg beaten. I'm going to mix this up, and I just wash my hands, trust me. Okay. So what kind of hamburger was that, Kim? It's 97% lean. So we're trying to do low carb, low cal, and any idea? Um, who recommended this? Actually, in the, this was a Paula Dean recipe from years ago, to yeah, be honest with you. Who won Sometimes if it's a little bit loose, I'll add a little bit more breadcrumbs to it, but you want to make sure that you keep it moist. Who wanted to see the video on meatloaf in the convection oven? It was DNS McKinley. DNS McKinley. 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 So, I'm sorry. DNS McKinley, we're doing this, this video you. because you asked for it and you commented on Kim's RV cooking. So comment down below if you is there anything that you want Kim to cook up for you. There's a couple other ones that uh, we're going to do from the comments that's been on every Wednesday. Good Lord willing. And uh, a little bit more. To it. Mm -mm. This is going to be so good. And it'll soak it up as you do it. But make sure, I forgot to tell you, make sure you use the quick oaks, not the old-fashioned. Okay. I'm going to get this together and come back to you and show you it in the pan. All I'm going to do is take it out, put it in here, and do up the meatloaf. Put it into a loaf. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I have put my meatloaf in the pan. I didn't grease it or anything because the hamburger meat's going to have enough grease in it to begin with. And this is going to be my topping. I have a third a cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of mustard, real, you know, just the, the prepared mustard, and then two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm going to put this on top of it. This is so simple. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set our convection oven. All right, this so let's, one, let's talk about convection oven. A lot of RVs now have the combination microwave and convection oven, and then they also have your, your gas oven. So Kim has really taken a liking to the convection oven. She's going to explain to you how she runs the convection oven, and then I'm going to give you a little tip from the man side of it, get the owner's <laughs> manual out and read you some stuff. <laughs> It's not because he uses it, trust me. No, ma'am, I would not use that. <laughs> okay, this, this is a Frigidaire model, 
and it has got the microwave, the bake microwave combo, and then the bake brown. For this, we're going to use the bake brown because we're going to actually bake it in the, it's just like what you think, baking it and we want to brown it, okay? So we're going to, I have, I put my round pan in here so that when it sits on here, it can make a complete circle and have even cooking, okay? So we're going to turn this on, and first what you're going to do is you're going to press the bake brown. And you'll come down here, the, it calls for it to be on 375. Some convection ovens are one way and some are the other one. This one, you lower it 25 degrees. That, so yeah. it says 375. So I am going to set it for 350, which is right here. If, Daryl, can you show them up here mm -hmm. how close? It's like 100, 150, 250, 275, all the way up to 400. Yeah, that's a that's a convection oven. It can go from 100 degree Fahrenheit up to 420. Uh, no, 400. 400 degree Fahrenheit. No, 425. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. So, okay. So it, this recipe calls for it to be 375. So I'm going to set it for 350, and I'm going to hit start. And what it's going to do is it's going to heat up, and it's going to go all this little line right here will start and it's going to go all the way over here and when it does it's going to beep and that means that it is preheated at that point you open the door stick this in here then come back and close the door and put how many minutes you want it to be okay which in my case is going to be 60 minutes because this is going to cook exactly one hour all right so but a general rule of thumb 25 degrees less lower. than your regular convection right. yeah, some of them, i mean conventional some of them, oven i don't want to get beat up because some of them actually you put it on there for the direct for, for whatever degree that it says. You just need to read your owner on your owner's manual as far as what brand does what. The Frigidaire, Frigidaire is actually 25 degrees lower. All right, let's get a little man in here and let's talk about uh, technical, uh, some tips and get the owner's manual out. Uh, with convection baking, you use the wire rack, uh, the wire rack during uh, convection baking. Always preheat the oven before convection baking. Avoid opening the door during cooking. Each time the door is open, the oven loses heat, right. and this can cause uneven baking. So the big thing with the convection oven is it takes the heat and swirls it around there. It's just not like a regular oven that it just heats up everything. You may have cool spots, hot spots. The convection oven actually uses forced air in there and moves it around, and Kim has found that it really gives it, you some even baking. It does. It really does. Okay, so and it doesn't heat your house during the summer like these ovens. Well, you'll have to leave if you have this on for any any length of time because it gets so hot in here. You'll have to go sit outside. But this does not heat. All right, so don't let these uh, convections oven uh, scare you. No, uh, you just got to do a little little work with it. And there's Actually, probably once some. You, once you get it down pat, you will never use this oven again because this right here is so easy to do. As long as you're not boondocking or, if you, you know, if you are, you have a generator that can let you do it. Right. But, you know, otherwise, this is the way you want to go. All right. Little, uh, little uh, convection cooking tips from RV Adventure TV. Metal pens are recommended for all types of baking products, but especially when browning or crusting is important. Dark or dull finished metal pans are best for breads and pies because they absorb heat and produce crispier crusts. Shiny aluminum pans are better for cakes, cookies, and muffins because these pans reflect heat and help produce a lighter, tender crust. Was that wine good, Kim? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, glass or glass ceramic casserole or baking dishes are best suited for egg and cheese recipes due to cleanability of glass. Yeah, but then, so, this one's going to work just fine. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I didn't have another one to put this in except for a big pan, and then it won't turn around in here the way it's supposed to. And the manual that we have that came with, uh, with Maddie here, our 2011 Heartland Landmark San Antonio version, goes through everything and tells you how to do it and it's really a no-brainer uh if you have uh, any common sense at all uh you can figure well, I mean, it out you're scared it's, i mean you're, it's one thing though but i mean it's well once you get in here and you get used to it that's it's all about getting familiarized with it that's, that's all it is to it kim how many times have you used that gas oven since we've had this none because i can't light it <laughs> 
I've used this. I think, but I prefer to use this because this you have to put your pizza stone in here. It doesn't give you the even cooking the way this does. This is just so much easier. You don't have to get on the ground, try to light it, do all that stuff. Now, if we were boom, if we were I mean, boondocking and didn't have a generator, of course I would use. We it. would use it, yes. but it just makes it so simple here and it's so convenient. But if you're boondocking in the summer and it's hot, you really don't want to use this because you can't. It all gets right. hot. All right, so you can see, see that the, going up. they're starting to go up. So once we get all up, we'll come back. We'll put it in and here. I'll show you how I open the door and put it in and set the timer and all that. All right, so stay stay tuned. This might be real important. If not, and you don't come back, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, we're back. It's fixing to be ready. It's right here at the 350 mark almost. It should be beeping any time. Yeah, everybody, it's fixing to be. And it probably is not going to show up on the GoPro because that's uh, digital numbers. But it's at 350 and it's got a little slide bar. Yeah, and when it gets to that, then that means it's preheated to that point. And huh. it's blinking. It's fixing to be through with that. And then we're going to open it. We're going to stick this in here, close it, and set 60 minutes and hit start. All right. And for some of your favorite fans out there that comment to you all the time, what you got there, Kim? A good box of wine. That's right. <laughs> Another great day having a glass of wine, enjoying the RV. Uh, we're having a great trip uh, to the uh, northwest uh, part of the country. Uh, we may be coming to an area near you, so please uh, throw a comment down there. Uh, if we're close to the area and we have time, we may stop in and say hey or tell you to drop on by. But anyway, we hope we enjoy Kim's cooking. She's a very good cook, and she knows a lot of things. Every time we go somewhere, everybody asks her to cook, and she really enjoys cooking. That's what makes it fun is uh, when you want to cook. Yeah, I like to cook. So, I thought it was going to beep, but I forgot to have that one the other one on there. I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. Crank it up. And I'll tell you another secret while it's doing this. When you put it in here, and if you look at it and you think that it may need to go a little bit longer, if you hit the start button before everything ends and shuts off, it'll add 30 seconds in 30 second intervals on there. And you just keep it and start, and you can go however many more minutes you think that the food actually would need. Okay. Without so, having to open it and lose your heat that's in here. All right. You don't want to open it too much. So what do you think we're going to have next week? Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm not cooking next week. I'm going to be on a cruise. Oh, that's right. Kim's <laughs> taking the week off, so we hope y'all can survive without the Wednesday's sure already cooking. Can. Actually. I, there it is. Okay, see? You heard it kick in? It kicked in, y'all. Meatloaf's going in. 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Which is one hour, and I'll come back and I will show you. It'll be ready in 60 minutes. All right. Stay tuned. This is going to be good. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's ready. Let's take it out. All right. Let's see how this is. Hmm. It's pretty moist. That's not going to get it. Oops. It just falls apart. You want to taste it, Daryl? Mmm, no. That looks good. I think I'm going to get me some, uh, I may make a sandwich out of that. Meatloaf sandwich? Meatloaf sandwich. Yep. All right, here we are, cooking with Kim. Meatloaf in a convection oven. Man, that looks good. I can't wait to eat that. It smells good. Give us a, get it a try. If you like meatloaf, some people do, some people don't. But uh, comment down below. Let us know. And hey, wait till next week. You never know what's going to come. That's true. <laughs> so just remember. Stop the madness. Start your adventure. And just remember, don't let your meatloaf loaf.